Arduin, free me from my purgatory. Arduin is a vanguard, benefited from his powerful control abilities and sustained damage. He can easily suppress the enemy in the same lane. It will be devastating to get hit by Arduin's giant axe. Try your best to avoid it, unless you want to know the taste of desperation. Passive Bloodlust If Arduin's HP falls below 50%, Arduin will enter Bloodlust mode for 8 seconds. While in Bloodlust mode, Arduin restores 2% of his maximum HP when his abilities or normal attacks damage enemies. Bloodlust has a 60-second cooldown and Arduin will enter Bloodlust mode again immediately after the cooldown if his HP is below 50% at that time. When Arduin is running low, do not always try to escape. Leverage his ability and normal attack to disrupt enemy. This will help Arduin to heal and maximize the effect of Bloodlust. First ability, Rend. Arduin swings his axe, sending out an energy arch that deals physical damage and slows enemy movement speed for two seconds. If Arduin hits an enemy hero, he can also smash his axe into the ground to deal physical damage and knock enemies into the air for one second. The second phase of Rend is contingent on the successful hit of an enemy hero. If you use Rend to first hit a minion or a monster, there will be no more air game. Second ability, Undying Protector. Arduin summons a shield that has 12% of his own maximum HP, which lasts for 5 seconds. When the shield is summoned, Arduin deals magic damage to surrounding enemies. Within 8 seconds of summoning his shield, Arduin's next 3 normal attacks deal an additional true damage, and each time his normal attacks damage an enemy, the cooldown time for Cull is reduced by 1 second. Arduin needs items to boost up his health to maximize the shield. Since the second ability can reduce the cooldown of Arduin's ultimate, it will be a good idea to use it to clean minions and monsters. With such pace, you can see the ultimate ready in no time. Ultimate Cull Arduin flings his axe forward, dealing physical damage and stunning the first enemy hit for 1.5 seconds. He then hurls towards the axe's spot dealing physical damage to surrounding enemies. Once Cull is activated, control effects will not stop Arduin from completing the ability. It's actually a hidden dash ability. Well, a lot of people only use Cull to attack, but indeed you can use it to speed up Arduin's escape when he is running low. To achieve that, simply release Cull on minions, monsters, or even walls. When playing Arduin, here are some of the tips to remember. One. Arduin can use Combo to immobilize enemy hero. First, unleash the ultimate, charge forward towards the enemy and stun him, then immediately release the first ability to slow enemy and trigger the second attack to knock the target into the air. At the end, use the second ability and normal attack to continuously deal damage to enemy hero. The combo sequence should be ultimate plus first ability plus first ability plus second ability plus normal attack. 2. It is recommended to firstly level up the second ability. Although the first ability can provide great control effect, it lacks damage potential and has an extremely long cooldown. The second ability gives Arduin a shield and provides extra real damage. You will definitely gain more benefits out of it. 3. Arduin's ultimate is also a dash ability, thus flicker is not necessary in this case. During the battle, Arduin should save the ultimate and smash it on enemy's squishy hero. Execute is recommended to take his talent. With exceptional control and damage, Arduin can easily finish enemy's carry by himself. Thanks for watching today's episode on Arduin. We will see you next time.